Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I thought I would give an inside peek into something that I'm working on this morning. And it's something that I call stacking the breath. So basically, this exercise is going to demonstrate how you can start a phrase with almost no air. And by the end of the phrase, you can be completely stacked at full breath capacity in your lungs without anybody knowing that you actually breathed, hopefully. Okay, so how do you do that? So basically I'm starting with an inhale and then a complete exhale with only a little bit of breath remaining. And that's enough breath to play the first cluster of notes. And then I'll take little incremental sip breaths along the way. And each of those breaths is gonna have just enough air to um, energize the next cluster of notes plus stack a little bit more into the lungs so that I arrive at full capacity by the end of the string of the cluster of notes. And then I'm gonna take that breath and just expel it through the instrument and play a cluster of notes without any rests. So here we go. That second example I also demonstrated a little bit of the elasticity of the breath which is taking the air and energizing it with different velocity speeds so that you can actually create shapes in the sound okay now I'm going to demonstrate another exercise I love to do especially on the weekend you know when you have a little bit of unstructured play time and this particular exercise is a great body warm-up we tend to think of our flutes as our instruments but if you really think about it it's your body that is your instrument. So really getting in touch with warming up your body, warming up your breathing mechanism, the inspiration, the suspension of the breath, the expiration of the air, and then the recovery of the breath. And not only that, but really getting in tune with the resonance of your body. So you have your oral cavity and how that affects the sense of vibration throughout your face and in your thoracic area, and even down to the bottom of your feet. And this exercise is great because what it does is it requires you to stay grounded and focused on a bass note. In this case, it's going to be F. And so what I'll do is play the note, establish resonance, find a grounding point in my body for that note, and a location for the placement of that note in terms of resonance. And then I'm going to swing way up and down the instrument and see if I can land precisely in that same location in terms of all of those elements.